and I think everybody was ready to go home. We had given it our best shot. It wasn't unpleasant. Nobody was acting up or angry or frustrated particularly. We had done good work, all of us together, and we were very proud of that work. But when the decision came down, it certainly wasn't, I don't think it was a surprise to anybody. It just didn't work, and I don't think it could have worked. I just think people didn't want to adjust their vision of the show. They loved the show that they'd seen, and they didn't want, and, and, and I think, in a way, for a short period, for a certain period of time, it sullied the memory of, of, of Golden Girls being as good as it was. Do you know what it's like to be totally ignored? But the bad memories did not last long. A whole new generation was about to meet the four ladies from Miami. Production on the Golden Girls ended in 1992, but that didn't stop the ladies from working. B. Arthur guest starred on a number of TV series, like Malcolm in the Middle. In 2001, she returned to her first love, the theater. Arthur started her career on Broadway, and won a Tony for her performance as Vera Charles in the 1966 musical, Mame. Her new one-woman show was simply called, B. Arthur on Broadway. I knew that I didn't want to do another, another series. Rather than wait around for the next great uh, part to come along in theater, let's just do a one-person show. People constantly ask, um, which do you prefer? TV or, or, you know, live theater. Doing sitcom, you never have the luxury of taking something and saying, all right, it doesn't work now, but damn it, I'm gonna make it work, I'm gonna make it work. I'll try something different tonight. Arthur's performance earned critical acclaim, including a 2002 Tony nomination. Oh, well, that was very, very nice. I hadn't been in, back on Broadway since 1966 when I, uh, I, I was in uh, MAME. In the early 1990s, Estelle Getty made appearances as Sophia Petrillo on shows like Empty Nest and Blossom. Not only is, is, is acting my, my dream and my, my, my work, it's what I do as a life's work, it's also my hobby. I love the theater, I love acting, I love everything about the profession. Getty officially retired from acting in the late 1990s, but the actress continued to work occasionally. In 1999, she was cast as Grandma Estelle in the film Stuart Little. After the Golden Palace closed its doors, Rue McClanahan starred in TV movies and plays. In 1997, Rue was diagnosed with breast cancer. Today, she is cancer-free and occasionally speaks in a lecture series called Aging Gracefully, where she openly discusses her bout with breast cancer. I battled it with uh, um, a lumpectomy and then um, um, chemotherapy and uh, radiation and meditation and being with the right man who said he wanted to stand by me through this, my dear husband, Mauro Wilson. Having someone on your team like that, having someone on your side like that, is very important. The people around you when you are battling cancer are as important a part of your cure as anything. Betty White returned to Situation Comedy in 1999 on the short-lived series, Ladies Man, where she celebrated her 50th year in television. Well, honey, if you hang around for 53 years, they've got to get around to you, you know, sooner or later. They, they're stuck with you. But what's funny is now with all the nostalgia and with all the reruns, it's hard to turn on the set and not, not be confronted with me. I'm going to get stoned out of town one of these days. With four published books and more on the way, Betty also added author to her list of credits. Writing is addictive. You know, you just, you, you just have to do it, and it's fun. But with a busy schedule, it's hard to squeeze it in there. Although the Golden Girls have moved on, the series continues to find new fans in syndication. People rediscovered the show, and people, you know, people just remembered, God, this was funny. Some people were discovering it for the first time. It was a whole new generation, certainly of young people who came along and had never seen it before. We're in 47 countries now, and you get mail from Finland, Sri Lanka. Will you tell me what in Sri Lanka they see in four old ladies living together in Florida? I can't believe that to this day, anywhere in the world, you see golden girls, you know, three hours a day. 
and uh, you know to get mail from uh, Goa. Do you know where Goa is? Now I'd say our mail is 75% kids. My name is uh, Stephanie or my name is Tiffany. I'm 12 years old. I watch two shows in the morning and then I come home and watch two shows in the afternoon. And I always think, when do you do your homework? You know that I see, I see something in rerun now. And I see something as a, oh my God, I forgot about that one. I forgot about that episode and how brilliantly funny that is. I will remember the wonderful fun we had and all the jokes that we all played. We used to leave notes, things like Burt Reynolds called and said, call him back. Or Blanche, you left your red pumps in the Teddy's car, please call him. It probably won't occur again that kind of quality in my life. Maybe it will, maybe it will. It was just such a love affair. It was a love affair between all of us. Hi, I'm Betty White and you're watching my tale on TV. No, 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 that's not it. No. Maybe in the first year I said I patterned Blanche after my sister Melinda. I didn't mean you were promiscuous. Well, she said everybody else in the United States th thought you meant that. It took me almost 50 years to get here. All, all of those years, I didn't make any money. If you amortize it over the years that I did make a living, I'm making $1.98 an hour. I look like Barbara Bush, don't I? Don't I? Be honest. But cute.